Thanks for joining us. I'm Leah Martin with a WBZ News update. Let's take a look at our top stories. A mother from Duxbury accused of killing her three kids will be arraigned today on murder charges. Lindsay Clancy is still in the hospital. The 32 year old will appear in court by video from her hospital bed. Sources say she was suffering from postpartum psychosis and her attorney says she was over medicated at the time. The arraignment is scheduled for 2 p.m. A suspected drug dealer is under arrest, accused of shooting and killing a 13-year-old boy in Mattapan. Sean Scarrett is charged with first-degree murder. The district attorney says it appears that he targeted Tyler Lawrence as he was walking in his grandparents' neighborhood last week. He's expected to be arraigned on the first-degree murder charge in the coming days. The record-breaking cold temperatures over the weekend led to countless pipes breaking. Some homeowners were told they're going to have to wait another week potentially before repairs can be made with plumbers inundated with calls. Some telling us they have fielded as many as 600 calls in the last few days alone. Let's get a check of your next weather forecast now with meteorologist Zach Green. Hey, Zach. Good morning, Liam. Thankfully, that Arctic air is behind us. We are still teeth chattering cold this morning, though, and we'll have the wind chill in the conversation through the afternoon. Mid to upper 30s for our highs. We'll want to take about five to maybe eight degrees off of that as we go into the height of the day. We'll also be filtering in the cloud cover. So what's bright in the morning turns more into an overcast scene as we close in on sunset. And then we're going to be draining in a brief little wave of precipitation. But there's a difference in where you are. If you're off to the south and west, you have a better shot of seeing plain rain. If you're to the north of the pike, we're not only handling snow, we've got some freezing rain in the mix as the temperatures are cold enough to allow for a little bit of ice accretion. 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. We may do enough to march the temperatures warmer to a point as we wake up on Wednesday morning, trying to pull some of the slick spots out of the way. I'm still anticipating there to be some icy areas, especially for interior locations. And right up on the northern side of Massachusetts and southern New Hampshire is going to be included in there too. Thankfully, we're out of the way of that risk in the afternoon. We're into the mid 50s for our highs with some partial sunshine and then we'll kind of reload as we go into Thursday night and for Friday morning. This one is just going to be a rain event here locally, but if we have enough cold air on the back side of that system, we may spill in just another case of some light flakes for Saturday. So we'll keep a close eye on that wave coming in our direction for the upcoming weekend. Otherwise, we're staying on a mild pattern all the way to the end of the seven day, Liam. All right, Zach, thank you. I'm Liam Martin. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day, everybody.